Hey guys, it's James from Deep Code. So this video is following my last brief explanation of JavaScript framework rendering methods. And today we're gonna to be taking a deep dive into client-side rendering. Client-side rendering is the server or the content delivery network shipping the whole bundle to the client's browser on the client's first request for the website. Then content is dynamically generated on the client's browser as the client navigates the website. This means that after initial load time, navigation of the website is gonna be super smooth and super fast, only having to make API calls to get dynamic content. This also allows you to deploy straight to a content delivery network. The biggest downside with this rendering method is gonna be your website's initial load time. This is gonna greatly affect the SEO of your website and the client's initial user experience. To understand the best use case, for client-side rendering, we have to understand the difference between a website and a web application. A web application is something like accounting software or a taxi service app, where users can manipulate data and request different information. Whereas a website is more informational, something like Wikipedia or a news site. Generally in websites, users have less interaction with the website and more just getting data from it. So with this comparison in mind, Generally, client-side rendering is gonna to tend towards being used for web applications. After the initial load time, the user experience is going to be seamless. And a lot of the times you won't have to make any extra API calls between navigating between pages. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe below. If client-side rendering isn't the rendering method for you, I'm gonna leave some links in the description to some extra information about server-side rendering and static site generation. This video was brought to you by DeepCode. DeepCode is cutting edge technology that's gonna point out security flaws and find bugs in your code. This is gonna really streamline your development process. Thanks.